Hello, you wonderful people, and welcome to another episode of Not Too Comic Book. This being a show where it's about TV shows that are adaptations of comic books. For today's episode, I'm going to talk about the latest episode of Batwoman. A lot of interesting things went down in this episode, so let's break it down. Well, first and foremost, obviously, you know, Team Batwoman, you know, Ryan's kind of nearing the end. Obviously, she's made like a con concoction of like adrenaline and stuff, which Mary's like, if you do this, you naturally have a couple, like two or three more days. You do this, you're bumping yourself down to maybe 24 hours. But for Ryan, it's like, I'm going to die either way, so I need to make this count. Um, this is kind of, this is kind of about all or nothing because I need to be basically in fighting condition to get to Coriana, to get the desert road to save Kate. Um, and I think it's so interesting, the parallels that we got at the beginning, obviously Ryan talking about each one of them talking about, um, obviously for Ryan, how Kate inspired her to be who she is now, obviously, you know, finding her purpose being Batwoman. And then Alice talks about how she inspired Kate to become Batwoman because it's like, you know, I will need you to find me, but I found you. And instead of you saving me, I saved you by making you become Batwoman, become the hero that so many people love. And it's like, I told you in that moment, of like, because it's like, regardless of everything, she still wanted her sister to save her, to love her. But it's like, I told you my greatest fear was being locked away. And you locked me away. So I am going to kill you, Kate. So interesting. Like like I said, I like the, the back and forth they did with, you know, Ryan's monologue with... um. Alice is like that, but um, Alice on Coriana. I almost thought the one moment Sophia was like, "Oh, you didn't think I knew." I was like, "Okay, like you like basically making it seem like uh, Alice had made a mistake." I thought she saw through the ocean thing. Turns out she did. She found the tracker. It's like you were careless and you were followed here because obviously before things kind of went sideways, like you had uh, Luke meeting with. Um, Sophie and telling her like, okay, like he's like, how did you? She's like, how did you do? This? You're familiar with don't ask, don't tell, and she's like, well, fine, but like, what? Why? Why are you doing? Like, it's not just a Kate thing. It's like, all right, that must mean he's like, that must mean you're working with Batwoman because she had to be the one to do this. He's like, fine, I am. She needs the desert rose. She was poisoned. We need that. It's not just about saving Kate. It's also about saving her as well. And obviously for Sophie, she's kind of gun ho about that. Obviously Ryan's reluctant being like, oh, now Sophie also knows you're working with that woman. Because now it's also puts into question like Jacob and Sophie already had their suspicions about you and Mary working with, you know, Kate while she was Batwoman that you were aware. Now knowing that you work with the current Batwoman, at least Sophie knows. That doesn't mean, um, that doesn't mean that Jacob's going to know that. But Sophie now knows that. And now it's eventually going to be like, that means you were working with Kate. You knew the entire time, too. So that's definitely going to be an interesting development going forward. But before they can make it there, they end up um, getting taken by Sophia's people. Because the tracker she found, she she figured someone was going to follow them. And who ended up showing up but them. But obviously for Ryan, it's like, I need to do this. It's like... Our last hope went up in flames, so I got to make this happen. So, um, basically, she's, like, hyped up from the adrenaline and everything, but they got to get her on a plane because it's like, we're going to find you away to Coriana. I love it because they they end up bringing up, like, oh, yeah, we need – she's like, there should be, like, a black paint plane. And he's like, fuck, Leo uh, – Luke, I said Leo, uh, Luke is like, I'll get on that the moment I work out the kinks to the bat sub, which I'm like, that's so interesting, which I think the bat sub is that, I don't know if it's necessarily called the bat sub, but I think that is something under, in the Bruce Wayne arsenal, but obviously the, uh, the bat jet and everything, it's like, oh, so it doesn't exist in this continuity, very, very interesting, I mean, to be fair, Luke didn't even know where the Batmobile was the entire time, so, I mean, who knows what other secrets Bruce had, but I doubt the bat, that'd be interesting, I guess, like, you probably have to, like, uh, that could potentially be something they set up in the future. Maybe it's something they never tackle. Being like, ah, I would just kind of leave that as that. I was like, oh, that kind of sucks. Probably if they were doing a, oh no, because I was like, I mean, about this, they lean into it with Batman Beyond. I mean, even though Terry had, can like jettison and glide around the city, I'm sure like if they were doing a Batman Beyond thing, they'd probably utilize that maybe. I don't know. They'd probably just stick to his jet boosters and his gliding. But regardless, tensions and all that. Um, but I also like what Ryan, like, before she left, you know, because she doesn't know if this is going to work out or not, but she's promising to bring Kate back, because regardless of anything, because there's also an interesting conversation, if I bring Kate back, like, what happens to me, it's like, you know, it's like, oh, like, she, but, you know, Mary's like, Kate wouldn't just, like, kick you out, she's like, what's that going to be like, two bat women, like, 
you know, so what's that going to turn to? But obviously for Mary, more so than anything, she wants she wants Kate back more than anything. So those conversations can kind of wait till later. But I love what um, Ryan did kind of leaving that plant. It's like Angelique gave it to me and I was, you know, going to give it as a surprise to my mom when we moved in. So for her, it's like it's the last reminder she has of her mom. So she's asking Mary to look after it, you know, and I'm like, oh, I thought that was really, you know, sweet. Because I think it's also symbolic of like, yeah, like this is a reminder of my mom. You know, I know obviously having lost your mom under terrible circumstances as well. Like, you know, it, it's symbolic in meaning like there's layers to the symbolism for it. And I thought that was pretty dope. But um, I also love that, like, the roundabout way Luke, like, she finds her on a, gets her on a plane that, like, has a rough area of where Coriana is and she has to jump out the plane. I also love the whole thing of, like, he, he's like, you need to do this now, jump out this particular point. If not, there's going to be, like, sharks in that area. And it's like, there's no shark repellent on the belt, the utility belt. She's like, why not? And he's like, because that's stupid. Which is interesting to say because it's like, it's not that stupid when we, we remember who exists in this continuity. I'm talking King Shark. Granted, he's kind of in middle ground of kind of being a hero. Well, I think the last time we saw him, he was a hero because he's still under Argus, like, care. The last time we saw him, I want to say it was like, what, season five was the last time we saw him? Yeah, I don't think that was last season. I want to say that was, that might have been last season. I want to say it was season five because I think it had to deal with Nora, but I, I can't remember. Um... But nevertheless, that's the last time we saw King Shark was Argus. Uh, I was also about to say, well, Gotham has to, uh, depends if he exists in his continuity. I was about to say Killer Croc, but it's like, Shark Repellent might not necessarily work on him, so. But it's just interesting to me. It's like, oh, that's stupid to have, uh, you know, Shark Repellent on land. It's like, not when there's a literal humongous being known as King Shark in his, co King Shark in his continuity, but I guess that's more a Central City problem than it is a Gotham problem, but still. Um... I guess I just thought that was interesting, but like Ryan kind of psyching herself up um, and manages to dive out the blame. That's pretty dope. Life experiences and stuff like that, you know? So things kind of work out in that front. Obviously, you got to track down to Desert Rose, also finding Kate, but she ends up being discovered by um, the, uh, Sophia's people, so. Um, Back to the Alice thing I thought was kind of interesting. It's like, oh, like, Tatiana told you everything, and it's like, yes, well, at least the gist of it, that basically it wasn't just Ocean that was in love with me, and Sophia just kind of looked like she didn't want that information getting out. But it was interesting what she was kind of, like, dissecting Alice's mind of being like, oh, yeah, like, I know why you do what you do. It's like, because your sister is so loved, and in some, in some naive, twisted notion, you're thinking by killing her, people will love you. But it's like, when you've had all this anger and all these emotions you've kind of held on to this entire time, like, when you do finally kill Kate, what happens to those messy emotions when um, it turns out everyone still hates you? You know, I thought that was interesting, and it's kind of, it's kind of sad, but you can tell like Sophia enjoys like messing with Alice because it's it's payback for you breaking her heart, and you know, more you know, just leave that to just breaking her heart. Um, but then, like obviously, the capture, you know, um, they ended up capturing Ryan, but she had also let uh, Jacob and uh, Sophie get away. But then, like Ryan's like, all right, you don't want my help, like, well, let me tell you this one thing: look after, look at Ocean. Get a better look and find out, oh, he's just some random dude. I was wondering if it was going to be like a mouse thing, but it's like, no, just some random. Hey, and at the very least, she didn't kill him. That's a, I mean, that's progress. She didn't kill the guy. She just stole his body from the morgue. Not like that's better. I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's better than like the option of, oh, she killed some poor dude for just for this scam. But um, obviously, Sophia, not too happy about that whole situation. So uh, Alice and... Um, Ryan get locked up. But I also thought it was interesting when Ryan kind of, like, talks about the fact is of, like, kind of sees through Alice of, like, yeah, despite everything you've done, like, all the hate, all you have, you know, all the terrible things you've done up to now, saying that you're going to kill Kate, it's like, you're not going to. Because, because you said it before that it's not your fault. You weren't talking about my mom, that you were talking about you being a victim of somebody else, somebody else, too, saying that, yeah, you saying that everything you've done up to this part, who you've become, isn't your fault. But if you kill Kate, that will be your fault. That will be on you. You're going to be able to just blame that on Sophia. That would be you. Because um, Carthright, as well as Sophia, helped forge her into who she is now. Uh, and that is the sad thing. Like, at the end of the day, Alice had, because she needed, like, to hate, like, 
Okay, she needed that. She needed her anger and everything. She needed to focus on something because I think for so long, like her circumstances, like that need for revenge is what kind of kept her going, you know. And it's like without that, like she just would kind of be a void of just, you know, because other than her, like her complicated thing with Kate, like without that, she kind of has nothing with anyone else. She's Beth is dead. And so she's she's nothing more than a walking ghost, essentially. So she kind of had to hold on to that just because. Because it was also her way of hiding her true feelings, which is kind of hanging on to that anger and everything. And when the time came, it's like, okay, Sophia's like, you did me a favor, so what do you want? It's like, I want a desert rose, and I want Kate Kane returned to me alive, to return to Gotham, you know, alive. And it's like, well, you did me one favor, so you get one. What are you going to do? And she says, I picked the desert rose. And I was like, I almost halfway expected her to say Kate, but it's like, no, nah, I get it. You're choosing the desert rose because you know that. Alice is going to uh, save Kate at the end of the day, like not kill her and believe, and you know, and even com telling Tatiana, it's like, oh, I didn't like save myself just to save myself because I was like, oh, I'm willing to doom Kate. It's like, no, because I know Alice. I see the look in her face. She's not going to kill um, Kate anymore. Sadly, when the time comes, though, uh, Sophia's like, well. You still have to hold up, hold up. You're into the bargain. Like, so I need you to kill Ocean. And Ocean's like, well, you told her where I was, which is sad that he jumps to that conclusion. But she's like, no, I would never. It's like, because we tracked your, we looked in your phone and you were looking, trying to find out where he was. And it's like, oh, you were planning on meeting up with him after all this, and, you know. And even Ocean saying like, I'm not the one responsible for uh, setting, uh, framing you for everything. You know, even saying that this has nothing to do with the frame job. You just can't stand the fact is that she loves me and uh, more than she loves you. And you have your inability to kind of deal with that properly. So to, is not, not wanting to save, not wanting to kill Kate anymore. She sacrifices this budding love that was there. Like, obviously, this is the person she loved beforehand. I mean, because he's the one that tried to ease the anger and quell the anger inside of her. And he was. He was able to get her to let go of everything with Kate, her anger, her need for revenge. And also, they fell in love. And she had to cut out that part of her heart. It's ironic how much time she spent trying to kill her sister. And she set this whole thing up so Ocean can be free. Because there is still some part of her that kind of loves him now. Because she remembers. Because it's been so long long since she's loved anything because most things that she's loved mouse dead kate planning on killing her and her dad not in the best place she you know actually framed him for um catherine's murder so th there's a that so for her to kill um him in an attempt to save her sister is just interesting so but when the time comes, I thought it was a great reveal of like, yeah, because at the same time we had the whole thing with uh, Mary and um, Luke being attacked by one of her, uh, one of the assailants. Um, I love that, like, she's on top of, like, she ends up bleeding on top of the plant. And they're like, okay, we need it. Luke's like, we need to get out of here. And she's like, no, what about Ryan's plant? Just leave. It's a plant. And it's like, no, we, come on. And it's like, all right, do you want to rock, paper, scissors for who does it? And she's, and he's like, no. And just like, all right, I lift the body. You, I, you lift the body. I'll grab the plant. And as they're doing that, this assassin gets up. Luckily, Julia shows up and throws a knife, ends up killing Sophia's person. It's like, oh, well, that worked out for them. Uh, but at the same time, the interesting reveal of like, okay, I was like, I was like, how are you going to handle this? Uh, I was like, the whole Kate thing, I was like, are we just going to cut away from it? Are we just going to see her from behind? Like, I wasn't sure how they were going to handle it. And for her to open the door, wait, where's Kate? Oh, she was never on the island. Sophia lied. That's the biggest middle finger. Because, and in that moment, for for Alice to break down, the moment she's willing to be like, okay, I'm letting go. I'm not going to kill my sister. I just want my sister back. That's all I want. And then that moment when she comes to the realization, I think that's actually the most, I think that's actually what Sophia wanted. She Because she almost seemed like she was happy the moment, like, she, I think she overheard her like, oh, you're not going to kill Kate anymore. Actually, it works out perfectly. I mean, I think either way, Sophia would have gotten what she wanted. Whether it's like, oh, I want to kill Kate. Wait, she's not here. Oh, I still need to kill her by my bare hands because even that whole bravado of like I need to kill her, that obviously that was all just uh, you know, holding back the fact is that she really loves her sister and she cares and it's just like she was so driven by her need for her anger and revenge that that's all she had and that hate, that's all to kinda of hide her true feelings. 
But now I think it probably stings even more knowing she was there trying to save her sister to be reunited with her after everything. And, oh, she's gone. Because Julia tells him, it's like, yeah, we found a body. There were body parts. DNA came back. Kate. And it's like, she's dead. And it's like, you know, that bomb being dropped on Luke and Mary. Because Mary had, you know, kind of got suckered into, like, not suckered in isn't the right word. But she started kind of believing, too. Like, at first she didn't want to believe. But she started believing with Luke about maybe she was alive. Obviously, Luke had been, you know, believing the entire time. And to have that hope snatched away from them like that. And, um... That's the heartbreaking situation of it, you know. And obviously at the same time, you know, Ryan is finding out as well. Alice breaking down the way she did was like, wow. And like I said, Sophia was like, oh, I had nothing to do with what happened to Kate. I just saw it as an opportunity to get what I want. I can get you to end up killing Ocean. And once again, this is her most, and even her being like, you're a monster. It's like, if I am a monster, I created you. And it's like, what does that make you? And it's like, wow, Sophia's twisted. That's her own, like, her own Shakespearean, you know, twist to things. It's like, to break Alice like that. It's like, not only did you kill, you know, you, your sister was no longer, not even here in the first place, meaning you killed Ocean, the man that you were, you loved before, that you were having budding feelings for, for the sister that you couldn't even save, so. But then it turns out, hey, Ocean's not actually dead. It's like the blade has been infused with the um, Desert Rose, so the moment it stabbed him, it, like, closed the wound. All you have to do is pull the dagger out for the wound to be able to properly heal, and he can come back. Uh, so it kind of puts you in like this limbo state between life and death, essentially. But it turns out, it's like, oh, now don't you see? No matter what, Alice's feelings for you aren't true. He was like, you're sick. She's like, see, she will always choose her sister over you, just like you should choose me. I was like, she looks so deranged in that moment. It's like, so you didn't want your brother dead. You wanted to break his heart so he wouldn't feel. It's like, see, you can't trust her. All you have is me. It's like. That's, it's like, if I, he, she knew she could have Alice after this, so she knew, like, she's like, I can have, you're like a brother to me, I can at least have you, it's like, that's sad, and I mean, the parallels between, like, both of you having complicated sibling situations, like, that's twisted, she went all this way to break Alice, because it was her way of getting back at the person, like, you broke my heart, so this is my way of getting back to you, my brother, you broke my heart, but you're my brother, so I'm willing to give you a second chance, because, you know, Kate kept giving Alice chance after chance after chance after chance, so there's definitely parallels you can draw between that, but it's just like, that's so twisted. And it's interesting to find out the person behind all this, the framing, like go, killing um, the gang, um, Alice's um, Wonderland gang, as well as framing her for like kidnapping uh, Kate. Oh, it was Tatiana. And, and, and the sad, twisted thing is, everything she did was for love as well. Because in her mind, it's like, I wanted you, because it's like, oh, you brought her back into my life after I tried to forget her. It's like, but you couldn't forget her. Because no matter what she did, you still loved her. You still. She always held a self spot for you. I'm sure there's always there was always a part of Sophia that probably like regretted what she did, you know, maybe. And I think on some level she was kind of happy to see um, Alice, but I'm sure that pissed her off being happy about seeing Alice. But in that moment, it's like, you know, Tatiana loves um, Sophia, so she just wanted to burn. Alice from her memory so that it's like you, you'll finally see me you know it's like I love you and I wanted you to see me and Sophia ends up stabbing her and it's like you know the dagger will stay there until I forgive her so that was definitely interesting you have Alice burning the desert roses saying like if I have nothing so do you it's like Alice's final middle finger to Sophia but obviously those roses mean everything to her because that's why Sophia is here like obviously like generations after generations have been protecting that it's kind of it's been her purpose in life is protecting the desert road it's rose is kind of all she had because this island was essentially you know as you know Tatiana put it it's like essentially it wasn't just her duty in her home this place was essentially her prison and you know all she's ever known is this so to kind of have that stripped away because of Alice you know kind of payback um at the same time yeah like there was an interesting conversation and I think this this is going to set up some interesting stuff going forward is the whole situation with um Sophie because at the end of the day, 
there was that whole thing about like, oh, like, you know, why would I join a group of killers or whatever? It's like, because you're already part of one group. Uh, this organized group, he leads the crows and everything. It's like, you want to look down upon our group, but it's like, yeah, at least, you know, here on the island, like, we're willing to protect each, um, protect the people. It's like, can you really say the same thing for the crows in Gotham? So it's a thing of, you know, Sophia's interested in you, much like she was... Um, Alice, I'm sure she wouldn't make that same mistake twice, technically three times, because she made that mistake of Tatiana falling in love with her, but not necessarily responding that, but obviously falling for Alice, but Alice didn't quite respond in that case, so it's like, probably when it comes to, if Sophie were to say, she'd be like, I'm not going to fall for you, I'm going to make sure to keep this as platonic as possible, and not about to get screwed over by love a, a third time, third, uh, you know, fool me once, shame on me, fool me twice, shame on me again, three times, that's going to be on you, uh, but nevertheless, it does bring up this interesting conversation between Jacob and Sophie about, you know, because it's like, oh, we need a Desert Rose for Batwoman. It's like, are you working with her? No, but we should be joining forces with her. It's like, no, like, Batwoman's kind of on the, what, on the, as we have different ideology. Oh, why? Because she goes outside the law. It's like, yeah, but how long are we going to pretend like we aren't above the law? Like, because it's like those two, um home dude who got run over by those two uh, crows, it's like, rather than just being fired, they should be put in jail, so it's like, it's kind of for her, it's like there's a double standard in this of like you know, she's like, I love my job but obviously there's certain lines and beliefs that, like, the crows don't correlate with, so that's why I'm like, I'm wondering will eventually she leave the crows and kind of be team Batwoman and it might be a thing or she might kind of go down, we could interestingly enough see her kind of do a little bit of a John Jones move and kind of go down the private detective route. So that could definitely be something we could see her go down that. And like she works uh, more so. I don't, I don't know. I, I, that could be because I think just what the crows represent aren't isn't what um, she represents anymore. So there might be like, yeah, she respects Jacob, but it's just like that organization has too much corruption. You know, it's like you root out the little here and there, but it's still like the foundation of what it represents is just kind of, you know, almost like a police state type of situation of, like, being so above the power and rule that things don't necessarily apply to you. Things that would fall to other people, like, fall on other people doesn't, you guys won't suffer the same ramifications, you know? So, I think that opens up a very interesting route, potentially, for Sophie going forward in the season, like, whether or not, like I said, she sticks with the Crows or not. But, um, obviously, they separate as Jacob's, you know, gonna uh, get on a plane and, you know, try and, you know, get it off the ground while Sophie goes to look for Kate, but she ends up finding Ryan. And obviously with the desert roads burning, it's like, there goes my last hope. And Ryan tells her, it's like, yeah, Kate was never on the island to fight alive. And in that moment, just like everyone else, you see Sophie just, she was holding on to this hope as well. And Ryan is there, you know, at saying like, she's not going to make it. Um, and she's asking Sophie to be there for, you know, she doesn't want to die alone. So when the time comes, Sophie's there for her. And she's like, I'm so sorry we got off on the wrong foot. It's just, but, you know, Ryan understands. She's like, it's because I wasn't Kate, you know. But obviously, she gets called up by Luke. And it's like, get Batwoman back here. It's like, there's no Desert Rose. It's like, no, I have found a cure. Uh, that lady bleeding on that uh, that plant is going to, creates a Desert Rose. Which I think is interesting, um, you know, it's like a, her mom's final miracle to her. It's like, you know, her mom not, in a sense, you can make the argument, it's like her mom's like last little gift because of what that plant represented. It's like her mom kind of wanting her to live. So try to get um, Ryan back to uh, town as quickly, back to Gotham as quickly as possible. But then, cause, but the entire time I'm thinking like, wait, it's like, they can't, are, did they really kill off Kate? I was like, no, nah, there's got to be something more to this. I honestly didn't expect them to answer this episode with the stinger at the end. I thought it was going to be a thing of they're going to leave it open. Because I was going to be like, no, I don't believe Kate. There's got to be something more to this. But then we see at the very end, like, she's under the sewers and she's wounded. It looks like, I think that's looked like that's someone putting bandages on her. So either someone found her and it's been taking care of her or she's been doing that herself. But she's kind of burned up. So I'm like, I wonder, I'm like, are you going to have... 
I'm not trying to bring apples. It's apples and oranges. It's it's not apples to apples. Uh, I was just wondering, like, oh, is this kind of your way of handling like how the Flash has kind of handled the um, Ralph situation? Is this, is this was it your way of doing? Like, is this going to be a long term thing you do with this or what? Is that the way they're going to work around it? Like, they're probably going to give Kate like a one time appearance. I don't know. It might be a situation that they might keep the character of Kate Kane around. But I was like, then what would be the whole point of, like, not just recasting? So I think it's going to be, like, a one-off thing. Like, she's going to go off. At, like, that's always kind of been my theory. For whatever like whatever reason, I think she's going to go off and leave at the end of all of this. Now, what they'll probably skate around is, like, maybe she needs to get reconstructive surgery because of everything. So she's going to look a little different. And that will probably be the final appearance of Kate, at least for now. Not saying she'll never pop up again, but at least for now, this one, like, final cameo or appearance to kind of send the character off on some adventure to potentially circle back around at some point in time like i said that's kind of been my running thought before now but we'll see but um like i said i don't know if someone's been taking care of her she's been taking care of herself like i would assume someone's been taking care of her because it's like she's down there in the sewers and stuff like that because it's like why haven't you popped back up before now you know i mean she might so that's why i'm thinking someone else is taking care of her who i don't know my thought was maybe a Bruce Wayne thing. Uh, once again, you've cast a Bruce Wayne in this continuity, so you can always make the real Bruce come back to be like, oh, like he's kind of staying low key, doesn't want anyone to know he's back, or maybe there's something else at play here. But um, it's definitely gonna be interesting to see where that kind of where things kind of go because now everyone thinks Kate's dead. It's more everyone believes it now. Um, potentially saving, you know, saving Ryan with this um, Desert Rose and what that necessarily entails. Obviously. You have Coriana under the circumstances of, hey, I got my brother back. You know, yay you, Sophia. Oh, wait, all the desert roses are gone. So I can uh, probably, you're going to see her snap. I'm assuming Alice is probably now going to point all her efforts towards going after Sophia for messing with her in, you know, many different regards. Uh, I'm curious what's going to happen when Alice ultimately finds out that the one behind everything was Tatiana. That's definitely going to be interesting. Well, to be fair, she's stuck in, you know, which I never even thought about. I was like, there's something else that does that. And I couldn't remember what. I was like, right. The wood oak daggers from, um, not wood oak, uh, but the, I forget, the, was it ash wood oak? Is that the name of, the daggers with the, that, like, Klaus loved daggering his siblings with. It was very reminiscent of that. I was like, that's what I was thinking of about like, kind of putting someone in kind of that stasis coma thing, so... It's going to be interesting whether Ocean's really going to give in to what his sister said of like, oh, she did stab me or whatever. She chose her sister over me. But also, it's probably going to be a thing of, my sister's a sociopath, so I need to play good because I don't want to piss her off. So, we'll see. Like A lot of interesting things went down in this episode. I'm curious to ultimately see where all of this ends up taking us going forward. But really, that's all I want to talk about. Till the next time we meet, be happy, be safe, low light to the fullest, and enjoy it. Good day and goodbye.